All right, guys. This is Dan from uh, Fisher Jeep Adventures, and today we are going to put on a set of metal cloak adjustable lower control arms. If this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video. All right. So as you guys know, uh, we have an AV. Uh, lift kit if you watched the previous video we just put in these uh, three inch uh, high capacity springs now the AV kit comes with a uh, geometry correction bracket uh, to drop the lower and the upper control arms to maintain proper suspension geometry what we've decided to do is uh, we bought some metal cloak uh, lower control arms for the front um, just to replace the stock ones and it's more about the strength that this provides and the ability for it to articulate more so than any correction because the correction bracket takes care of that so what we're going to do is we're going to take off um, the lower control arms side by side and then we'll show you what the difference is um, in the way that they're constructed and uh, how they look so we're going to set these to the uh, factory spec which is 24 inches center to center and then uh, we'll show you what the old control arms look like side by side so you can see the comparison all right, so uh, the lower control arm brackets, they've got a uh, 24 in, 24 millimeter nut on the backside and a 21 millimeter uh, bolt. So you can see the factory uh, lower control arm is a piece of uh, rectangle tubing with some ends welded on and this is a very sturdy piece of DOM uh, tubing with a, their metal cloaks patented joint. So basically I've got them lined up so that they are exactly the same length as it sits and uh, we'll fit them in. All right, so Metal Cloak has the adjustable joint in the rear. Uh, so what we've done is we put the front end, the fixed end in on the front axle. We've got a strap in place, and then all we'll do is we'll uh, pick the lower control joint up and put it in the bracket and then put the bolt in. All right, so we're gonna uh, release the strap and then uh, We'll torque down the lower control arm bolts, so 190 foot-pounds. Put the tire back on and go to the other side.
All right, you can see with these drop brackets that they are almost uh, parallel to the ground. So that's just how we want them. All right, guys, so uh, that was the quick install of the lower control arms for uh, the front of the JLUR and uh, from Metal Cloak. Uh, super easy. It's uh, one side on off. Uh, just to get the measurement right, make sure they're equal on both sides. And then just square up the axle to the frame to make sure your measurements are correct. Tighten everything down. So pretty easy. I think that the, the difference between the stock control arm and the metal cloak arm is purely in uh, the strength of the, the arm itself, uh, the diameter of the tubing, um, as well as the joint. So metal cloak has a special joint that's supposed to aid in articulation and flex. To allow the axle to move a little bit better so we got a similar setup coming for the rear axle um, but with that one i think we're going to be doing both the lower and the upper control arms uh, to replace the stock ones uh, for that so we got some geometry correction brackets from metal cloak for that so we're going to put a complete setup back there um, hopefully that stuff comes in soon so we can get the rear dialed in now we didn't do the upper control arm on the front because the stock upper control arm is a pretty stout piece by itself and with the geometry uh, brackets we, we don't really need to mess with that we're not going to go in to replacing them so i think that the install on the rear is going to be uh it's a little bit more involved but i think it's going to yield some pretty good results so hope you guys got something out of the video um please subscribe to the channel like leave a comment i get back to you as soon as i can and uh this is Dan from Fisher Deep Adventures, and we'll see you on the trail.